we Alpha and Omega. We we Alpha and Omega. We we Mungu wangu. We we ni Alpha and Omega. We we ni Alpha and Omega. We we Alpha and Omega. We we Mungu. Nasema Asante Nasema Asante Nasema Asante Wewe Mungu Nasema Asante Nasema Asante Tunasema Asante Nasema Asante Nasema Asante Nasema Asante Wewe Mungu Nasema Asante Baba Nasema
Jesus, see I'm born. 
Lift your hand and say, You reign, you reign since the young sea. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you reign in Zion, sea. Young sea, Kadosh, Kadosh. Mighty on your throne, you reign, Lord. You reign, you reign, you reign, Shenzion. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, Lord. You reign, you reign, Shenzion.
Sees us. 
Pero con amor se bona sinza eriñado tatana sinza sinza tatana me me ande olwarero na sinza eriñado tatana basibu
Ali wano. Ali wano. Ali wano. Ali wano. Ali wano. Ali wano. Oh 
Yesu Yesu Kangu imuse Omsaigo Saigo Kwimanya gakumanze Yes Lord
kushaba omo yo riwena sho mai sue o tue Hallelujah. 
Zakatabra da baba kushikata kanabaria, zikatabra da baba kushikata kanabaria, ribri kiri mama 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 m
Rakata Zakata Brada Baba Kushikiri Baba Ma Rakata Brada Ribrikiri Baba Ma Zikata Brada Baba Kushikata Brada Baba Ridi 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 Ribrikara Mama 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 Zakata Brada Baba Kubra Kara Baba Kushikata Brada Kapra Kadi Bobo Shikata Brada Baba Kuriya Kibrikiri Bobo Shikata Brada Bari Shikata Brada Baba Kushikata Brada Kibra Kata Brada Baba Kushikata Brada Rap Rakata Brada Kakata Brada Baba Kushikata Kapra Kadi Bobo Shikata Brada Baba Kibra Kata Brada Baba Kutiya Rap Rada Baba 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 Rabrada Baba 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 Rabrada Baba Baba Rabrada Baba 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 Rabrada Baba 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 Rabrada Baba 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 Rabrada Baba 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 Rabrada Baba 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 Ribrikere baba baba, rabra da baba kujia, raka da da baba kujida, raka tabra da baba zia, zeka tabra da baba ria, ribrikete kara baba ria, rata bra da baba, maka tabra da baba kuria, rabra kata bra da baba kuria, ribra kata bra da baba kuria, ribrikete bra kara, zaka tabra da baba kuria, zaka tabra da baba kusia, zaka tabra da baba ria, ribrikete bra da, ribra kata bra da, ribra kata bra da, rikra bra tara, kibra kata bra da, shaka tabra da, kibra kata bra da, kibra Kibra kasata, kibra katabra da, kibra katabra da, zata bra da baba siya, shika tabra da bari, kabra katabra da bo, shika tabra da baba ria, ribri kete katabra, rabra na ma katabra da kasiya, zaka tabra da bosa, zada baba bari ndere boria, ribra na mama mazina, brada 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 ria, ribra kade bo nzi kata, kibra kada baba, rabra da baba bari ria, rikere baba zaka tara, zaka tabra da baba siya, zeka tabra da baba baba bari ria, ribere bo bo shika. Tara rika taka tabra dia zeke tekere bobo ziria kabra da baba dia ribra da baba dia ribra da da baba dia ribra da da baba dia rabra da da dia zeta bra da zeta zaka da ga de brika dia zaka da bra da ga de kere dia kabra ga da bra de bobo ziria kabra da baba ga de kere dia kibra ga da bra da baba dia ribrike teka da zata bra da ba dia dia ribrike teka kabra da ga dia zika da bra de ga kabra ga da kere dia kabra ga da bra da rib Rikere mama dia, zika raba, ribra kata bra dia, zika tabra da baria, rika tabra da baba zia, zika tabra da baka ya, rab kata kata bra kata ya, zaka tabra da baria, rike tabra da baria, rika tabra da baba zia, zaka tabra da baria, ribri kata ra, ribri kere bobo shiria, zaka tabra da baria, kabra da bana dia, kibra de bobo shika ra, masa kata bra de bobo, rikere bobo shita, ribra tara dia, kabra da baria, ribra kata bria, rika tabra da baba zia zika tabra da baria rike tekeria kabra da baria kazika tara baria kebri kere bobo shiria rika tara baria shaka tabra da didi kabra da katara dia kibra katara didi 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 kabra katara da didi didi kabra da bobo shiria kabra da da didi riteri kazaka ta rabra da da didi kabra da da didi ya da kabra kata da didi kabra kata da didi Ribrike tekeria, kabra da 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 di, kabra da 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 di, rika tara da di, kabra da 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 di, zika tara da di, ribra di di di, maza tara da, zata braka ta, zika ta karabaria, rike tekeria dia, rika tara da 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 da, rika tara da da di dia, rabra ka ta karia, zika ta bra di di, rinde di ka da karia, kabra da di 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 di, kabra da ka da karia, ribrika zaka ta ya, zaka tara di di di, zika ta ka da karia, rika tara di di di, zika Taka diri, kabra kati kiti kiriya, kara dara diya, riteri diri diri diri, shika tara dara dara, rika tara dara diya, kabra diri diri kada kara diya, rika tabra dara diri diri, shika taka dara diya, rika taka dara diya, rika taka dara diya, rika tara dara diya, rika tara dara diya, shika taka diya, zaka tara diri, rinde diri diri diri, rika tara, maka taka di bushika ra, maka taka di bushika ra, maka taka di bawa diya, riteri diri 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 diri, raka tara dara diya. Rakata brada baria, rikata gadi bojia, rakata daria dira, ride dide 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 dide, rikata brada daria, makaza kata brada, rikata brada ru, zikata daria dira, rakata brada dide, zikata kada karia, 
Rikata de Rinde de Baba Babada, Rabra da Babataya, Rabra da Babatada, Rabra da Dataya, Rikata Kadabazia, Zakata Brade, Rikata Bradadaria, Maka Zakataria, Maka Zakatakaria, Rinde de Rikata Rikata Katakaria, Maka Takatakaria, Rikata Karibosia, Zakata Brade, Rikata Katakari, Capra Katakatakaria, Rakata Brade Bosia, Rakata Brade, Rakata Brade, Zakata Karabari, Rikata Karabari, Rakata Mamazia, Zakata Bradadaria, Rikata Kadia, Zikata Bradadaria, Rikata Bradadaria, Rikata Bradadaria, Rakata Bradadi, Zakata Bradadi, Rikadi, Rakata Bradadi, Rata Radadi, Rikata Bradadada, Rikata Radadada, Rikata Radadaria, Zikata Radadada, Rikata Radadada, Rikata Radadi, Rikata Radadada, Rikata Radadada, Rikata Radadi, Rikata Radadi, Rata Radadada, Rikata Radadada, Rikata Radadi, Rikata Radadada, 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 Rikata Rikata Radadada, Rikata Radadada, Rikata Radadada, Rikata Radadada, Rikata Radadada, Rikata Rikata Radadada, 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 Rikata Rikata Radadada, Rikata Rikata Radadada, Rikata Rikata Radadada, Rikata 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 Zakata brada da 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 da
Rabo, Rabra da Babadi, Rabra da Babadi, Rabra da Babadi, Shagata Brada Badi, Rabra da Babadi, Ribreza, Ribra da Dania, Ribra da Badea, Ragata Bradibu, Ribra da Bradea, Ribra de Bosa, Zagata Bradea, Zagata Bradea, Rica de Bobosia, Rabra de Bosia, Zagata Bradea, Ricara Baba Babadi, Rica de Bobosica Tayade, Zagata Brade. Zagata Gadea, Zagata Gade Brikea, Zagata Brada Boya, Rike de Bobo Zikaya, Zagata Bradea, Brakata Bradea, Rike de Bobo Zikaya, Rabradea, 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 Zikata Brada Bagazia, Zekete Briterea, Zikata Brada Babazia, Zikata Brada Babaziga, Zekete Bradea, Rike de Bobo Zikataya, Rabrada Bradea, Rabrade Bobo Sherea, Zakata. Rakateria Nea, Mahandaria, Hora Zadabra, Hora Dania, Hora Dania, Hora Dania, Hora Dabra Dea, Hora Dabra Dea, Hora Dabra Dea, Hora Dabra Dea, Hori de Rebosia, Zagadabra da Babadea, Rabra da Babade, Ridea, 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 Ribosada, Zagadabra Dea, Shikarama Cosia, Rabla Cosiqueria, Rabla Cadeani, Zagadagadea, Shikatabra, Cubra Dea. Shikaramadea, Ribriqueria, Lamagura, Zaraba, Zaya, Ubra de Bobosida, Ubra da Mande, Dandea, Nadea, 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 Radea, Nadea, 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 Radea, 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 Nadea, Radea, 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 Ribrika Zagada, Rikata Brade Bobojiga, Zagada Bradea, Rade Zagada Gade, Rike de Bobojita, Rakata Brade Bobosia, Zagada Brada Baba, Rike de Bobosia, Rabrada Baba de Rike de Bobosita, Rakata Brade, Rike de Bobosia, Rike de Bobosia, Zagada Bradea, Rike de Bobosia, Zagada Bradea, Zagada Bradea, Ripata Patata, Rakata Brada Boa. Capra cata pradea, ribreata, ribretaia, fracatea, ribreguea, capra da bade, rabosada, praderi bada, praderi cada, zagata prade, jicata prade, roda de 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 de, rata prade de 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 de, jaraba bada de, capra de de de, capra de mojira, racata prade, racata prade, zagata prade, ricara mama madea. Shakata brade de de de, shakete brada, braga da brade, rabra de bodia, zagata brade, rabra de kade, kade kade brida ya de ya de, kabra de de kata brada bade, shakata brada baba de, riera da, riera baba da, brade de 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 de, mata brada baba de, mata brada bade, rabra da bade, shata brade ya, zagata ya. Yakatea, Jikata Rade, Jikata Bra, Rikete de 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 de, Jikata Rade, Rakata de 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 de, Jikata Rade, Rade de Kataya, Oshara da 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 de de, Kabra de 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 de, Kabra da 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 de 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 ya, Zagata Kadea. Rada raba baba de ya, shaka tapra de 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 ya, rika raba baba de, shika tapra da da ya, shita pra de, shaka tapra de de de, rika raba baba de ya, ripre ya, rika tapra de, shika tapra da 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 de, raka tara, ora de ya, ora de, ora de, zate da 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 ya, zate ya da 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 de, zate. Rabrada baba bada de de, rabrada bada de de, rada da 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 de 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 de, jika da ga da 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 de, jika da ga de 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 de, braga da bra de 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 de, rika da mama de de de, jaga da bra de de de, braga da ga de de, jika da bra de de de, bra de ya da da ya, ride ya na ya. Rabra da de 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 de, shika da de 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 de, rika da mama de ya. 
Jagada Brade, Makatari, Makatari, Rakatiri, Rakatiri, Jikatarabari, Ramasa ke te ya, 
Rain in our nations. Rain in our cities. King Jesus. Oh my God, King Jesus. King Jesus. King Jesus. Jesus. Rain, oh God. Oh, Sharade Yabosia. Maradebo Koshika Taradaya. Rain Jesus. Fugayesu. Rain King of Glory. Fugakawako HT. Sharadari Yaboshi.
banunule 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 bamukama banunule bamukama bekalimo imo imo lucha omwana kwende kawalira biko mosayuli yali bakule mero rimba ngawali nenanga mungalo sabwe nalendi mera wakati waba imba oh Banunuli abo, banunuli mama, boka 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 abo, imbo ruchalo, mana kweni kawari rabiko yu, musayuni ye, yariba kule mero imba, na bali menanga mungalo zawe, na kendi bera, wakati wala imba, banunuli 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 mama. Boka 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 mo, imbo lucha, kuma na pendi kawali na bika, musayuni oh yo, yali ba kule mero luima, kawali menanga mungalo zawe, na kendi bera, wakati wala imba, banunule banunule, banunule ba muka mo, boka 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 mo. Mbaruja, umana kwenye kawali rabika, musayuni. Yari ba kule mero rima, na bali menanga mungalo zawe, na kendi bera, wakati waba ima. Banunule boka bo, banunule ba muka bo, boka 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 fe. Mbaruja, umana kwenye kawali rabika, musayuni. Yariba kule mero rima, na bali menanga mungalo zawe, na kendi bera, wakati waba ima. Banunule abo, banunule ba muka, muka muka muka, muka me bali mbali mbali ya, umana kwenye kawali rabika, musayuni. Yari ba kule mero rima, na bali menanga mungalo zawe, na kendi bera, wakati waba ima. Banunule abo, banunule ba muka 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 muka. Mbaruja, umana kwenye kawali na bika, musayuni Yali bakule mbero mimba, na bali nenanga mungalo zawe Na kendi mera, wakati waba imba Banunuli, banunuli, banunuli wa mukama, banunuli wa mukama Mbaruja, umana kwenye kawali na bika, musayuni Yariba kule mbero rima Na bali nenanga mungalo zawe Na kendi bera wakati waba imba Banunuli abo Banunule mamu kama Boka 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 mo Imba lucha Umana kwenye kawali na bika Musayuni Yariba kule mbero rima Na bali nenanga mungalo zawe Na kendi bera Wakati wala ima Banunuli abo Banunule mamu kama Boka 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 fi Sebo wana kwenye kawali na bika Musayuni Yari wakule mbelo rima Na bali nenanga mungalo zawe Na kendi mera Wakati wala ima Banunuli abo, banunule ba muka maboka Bebali imbolu imbolu cha Umana kweni kawari la wika Musayuni Yari bakule mbelo ruimba Nawali menanga munga rozawe Nageni vera wakati waba imba Banunuli abo, banunule ba muka maboka Boka 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 Imboluja, obana kweni kawali na bikoyo Musayuni Yari bakule mbelo ruimba Nawali nenanga munga rozawe Na kendi vera wakati waba imba Banunuli boka Anakwendi kawali na vika 
Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The altar is fun. When we get to heaven, those who will not get to heaven, they will be they will see a lot of sorrow. Because let me tell you, heaven is going to be interesting. Heaven is going to be interesting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heaven is going to be interesting. We used to say in the times gone by. Oh, when the saints go marching, oh, when the saints go marching, oh Lord, I want to be among the number. Oh, when the saints go marching, oh, when the saints. Go marching, go oh, when the saints go marching, oh Lord, I want to be among the number. Oh, when the saints go marching, oh, when the saints go marching, oh, when the saints go marching. Oh Lord, I want to be among the number. Oh, when the saints go marching, soon and very soon we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon we are going to see the King. Hallelujah. Let's do it a better way. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon, soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we are going to see the No more dying there. We are going to see the king. No more dying there. We are going to see the king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to see the king. Soon and very soon. 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 We are going to see the king. Soon and very soon. Sun comes up, it's a new day, darling. To sing your song again, whatever may and whatever lies before me. Let me sing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord.
worship His holy name. The sun comes up. The sun comes up. It's a new day, darling. To sing the song again. Gasitiamo la bewa ange. Tambola na Yesu gasitiamo la bena. Tambola na Yesu gasitia binomba biona. Tambola na Yesu gasitia mula bena. Tambola na Yesu gasitia mula bewa ange. Tambola na Yesu gasitia mula Tambola na Yesu ngasitia mizimu jona Ngasitia mula beye na Tambola na Yesu ngasitia mayembe wate Tambola na Yesu ngasitia mula beye na Mwagala nyo kubanga ya kumentalo zangi Mwagala nyo kubanga ya nwani lentalo zangi Mama, <laughs> Kubanga, Yanwani Rentalo Zange, Kubanga, Mwagala Nyonyo Kubanga, Yanwani Rentalo Zange, Mwagala Nyonyo Kubanga, Yanwani Rentalo Zange, Kubanga, Yanwani Rentalo Zange, Mwagala Nyonyo Kubanga, Yanwani Rentalo Zange, Mwagala Nyonyo Kubanga, Yanwani Rentalo Zange, Mwagala Nyonyo Kubanga,
Zanyo kumanga ya nwani lentalo Zango yo kumanga Mama mwaka lenyo kumanga ya nwani lentalo Zange Zanyo kumanga ya nwani lentalo Mama kamuzini restani yetu go yo Talo Ya nwani lentalo Zango yo Kamuzini restani yetu go Have our seats. To Tuleko Ansi. Amen. Amina. That's what we do for the altar. You know, from morning, I was taking you through the stages practically of the altar. We spend more time. 
in focusing on the name of Jesus. The first session we were adoring, we were, we were courting the name of Jesus. And then we, con- we went into intercession. Then we went into praise and victory. So I, I was practically trying to demonstrate to you how the altar runs. Amen. I want to welcome all of you. Yet for our last day, those that have been here since Wednesday, we welcome you more and more. Amen. Amen. Uh, Pastor Harriet and the team from Entebbe, let us clap for them. Amen. Amen. Uh, we want we welcome you to Lifeway Church of Christ. And we welcome you to the altar. There are people I didn't welcome. I did not welcome, but let me now uh, uh, welcome them. Uh, Sister Eunice. Sister Eunice. Uh, can you stand and wave the people? She comes all the way from Kenya. Kenya. But now serving in northern Uganda. Northern Uganda. In Gulu. Mugulu. She came uh, in Karuma. Karuma. She came for the altar. My daughter Delight. All the way from Nairobi. She came for the altar. Oh, we bless the Lord for you. Other uh, people, I think, are welcomed all of you. The people of Ibanda, where are you? Ibanda, we bless the Lord for you. By the way, I feel a conviction now that we should take the altar to Ibanda. Amen. Amen. So we're going to have a convention in Ibanda very soon. Amen. Amen. Uh, I felt a conviction because I had a dream last night. A pastor from Ibanda was begging me in the spirit. Say, please come and help us. And when I came this morning, my wife, Pastor, pastor Farida, on I think Pastor Farid Farid. repeated the same. Then I met the pastor from Iban outside there. I got a confirmation to take the conversion to Iban. So we're going to we're going to concentrate on four districts so far. District in Yakati. Kayunga, where are you? Kayunga. Amen. Uh huh. Kayunga Motoli. We're going to concentrate on Kayunga. Kayunga. On Luero, where we have been also. Luero, Jetualiera. And Chenjojo. Where is Chenjojo? Chenjojo. Amen. And Chenjojo. And then Ibanda. Ibanda. So our first, our first term, Kakati, our first season, we're gonna, we, we have gonna, we're gonna concentrate on the four districts. I've seen what the Lord has done. You don't know what God has done in Kayunga. You people. I testify that there is a revival in Kayunga. Can you imagine? Every every sub-county has now an altar. That's a testament. Every sub-county now has people praying. All the nine sub-counties of Kayunga. Now, yesterday, the pastor from Chichu Saluero was here with his team and he was telling us all the churches that participated in the conversion have maintained the altar every night. He was telling Telling me the altar has continued 24 hours in Ruero, Ruero. and now the same with Kayunga. We want to take a conversion like what we did in Kayunga and Ruero. We want to take to Chenjojo, Amen. Amina. And we want to take it to Ibanda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
our conversion God has blessed us we pay for everything Amen Amen when we, are, when, when we come to Ibanda, we will foot all the bills, whatever is needed for the conversion. I think for people of Kayunga, you can testify. That's what we do. If we have a thousand people, we take care of them. So, change we shall do the same. All you need to do is to mobilize the churches and mobilize the, 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 the leaders. You, if you can mobilize at least 500 people who can gather for prayer for three days. Pastor, if you will do that, we will, we will, we will, we will do. We will be there. We will, we will be there with everything needed. The food for the people they will eat. All the bills we shall pay for them. In the name of Jesus. As we've been doing different places. Ibanda, I don't know if you will do the same. The people who Ibanda, come here. Come and commit yourselves here. Ken and come here for you. Give me the microphone, please. So I think the, there's a pastor also from Uganda who is watching online. Who has been praying and fasting that we may go to Uganda. Now the strong men of Uganda are here. Not the strongholds, but the strong men. These, these men are now the missionaries we are sent to Uganda. That are going to mobilize. Is it near Chenjojo? Maybe I'm not far, but uh, huh? like two days to jump to this place. Okay. We, we're going to say we're going to make to do the program to have the convention in Ibanda before our national convention in August. Now this time it's not going to be just solely but a conference. It's going to be the national, national convention of the prayer altar. The national where all the districts will come. This week is on Azijakuja. From Kam Karamoja, Karamoja, West Nile, West Nile the West, the East. Eh, they will come wanya. here in August for the national convention. convention. Amen. Amen. So we are, we are expecting 2,000 delegates who will be here we shall transport all of them we all the delegates we shall feed them and we shall accommodate them amen Amen. and our accommodation is good how many who have been in the hotel last night how was it ah, that's how we, how, that's how we honor the men of God we don't put men of God and women of God in classrooms. We hire hotels for them. Amen. Amen. So the 2,000 delegates of August from all over the nation will be here for the national confession of the prayer altar. Three days, four days of 24 hours of prayer. 24 hours. In the confession, we will not have breaks. We will have 24 hours of prayer. When you are tired, you go back to your hotel, you, free, you refresh, you return to the altar. We don't have no breaks. No breaks, no, no going to sleep. The one who gets tired goes and comes back for four days. Twenty-four hours. Day and night. Without with unceasing prayer. The Lord will give us the nation. Amen. Amen. Oh, it's gonna be powerful. So let me let me welcome the strong men of Ibanda. <laughs> and I want to hear if they are welcoming us in Ibanda. Amen. Praise God. 
Uh, I'm called Apostle Easton Owomuzun. Ago ge manya ge. I'm a leader of Destiny Care Ministries International in Ibanda there. Ero bo 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 rezawe. And I'm um, secu general secretary of National Fellowship Born Again Pentecostal Churches in Ibanda. Ero bo gona go muri mugwe. And the leader of mobilization. Amen. Ira e mukure mbese uwaba kubiriza. Ya kunga. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, some times back, there are some pastors that came here. One came and told me about a pastor in Kampala. I asked that his pastor Kawalia. I went on Facebook. And I searched and saw. I found a pastor that is here. 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 I have had this brother. He said, Pastor, why don't we go to Kampala for a convention? From Tuesday to, 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 to Friday. I told him this week I'm not busy from Tuesday to Friday. He, I told him I'm always ready. Just that I I only called my wife and told her that I'm going to Kampala tomorrow. I on my clothes tomorrow I'm going. So I came. <laughs> I, I asked this one and told him where are we going? He told me where we are going, you love the place. Amen. And you pick something big from that place to deliver Ibanda. In Ibanda, there are some altars that our authorities there. Altars that need this altar. So that we can overthrow them. Joe, yesterday, when we were in the service, the last service, Pastor talked about the life of a priest. I just felt tears and said, God, I wish we had brought many so they can share about this because I'm the only one who has taken it. I told these brothers who are going home that you know what to do. Can, can I talk to the administrator so I can speak to the pastor for at least two minutes so he can come to Ibanda? He said, I'm going to work on it. I reminded him in the morning at five. And he said, I'll do it. When we are leaving the car there, I told him, do not forget it's the first thing you must do. Don't forget that. He entered and I remained outside. Pastor went outside like this. I was also coming from the other side. I said, let me wait for him. At least I say hello. Before I even greeted him, it's the first thing he asked me, when are we coming to Ibanda? And I told him I would already ask for an appointment to see you so you may come to Ibanda. I told him I want to live around one. Will I see you? He said when we get a break, I will see you. But this God is different. I was in prayer in the evening and I told him God speak to the pastor to be my intercessor as well speak to the pastor to come to Ibanda and, and God has done it indeed Amen <laughs> I am leaving this place with good news that in Ivanda we are going to host a man of God. All altars that were raining from that side are what I know. That's about inviting the pastors. Just rest. This one is my witness. Uh, 
Uh, last month we had evangelist, that evangelist. Nanga banti njagala 700 people mu conference. He said around 700 people in a conference. Nanga ba entamba la kuiri. He said transportation is all. What I want is people. Nimgamba okay. I told him okay. He just tried and raised five tents only. When we fill them, he will add on. The moment he raised them, they were all filled. He went and brought more. Therefore, mobilization, the mobilizing the pastors. I am already a leader. And the pastors believe in me. This brother is my witness. We shall have that conference, Pastor. Amen. 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 Uh, People of Kayunga. Sometimes. We shall set this nation on fire for God. Yes, Ken. Yes, Ken. Another strong man. Why a stronghold? Why a strong man? Uh, he didn't know me. We weren't even friends. But when he came to Ibanda and got a story, the pastors they are not reunited. In the previous conference, I saw 100 pastors on the same pulpit. He told me, Sir, I've heard what you've done. God bless you. And we started like that. One week. I don't have his number, he doesn't have my number. I want to visit your church. Then he meets me in church and says, I want to visit your church. Then he meets me in church and says, I told him, I welcome you. Sunday, what day? Last Sunday. I service. I had a service. You better love your neighbor. Bajita yagala mulira noao. I called the born again and, and those that are not the love of Christ. Uh, to teach them the love of Christ. The heart that I have is like a pastor. I didn't fundraise. I put in my all. People ate, they drank and were taught about the love of this Jesus. This big man. All pastors were there. Come and teach love of Christ. But I told him, Amen. That is where we started. That is why I'm here. Uh, praise the Lord. <laughs> yes, uh, it's my. Uh, I've discovered that. Uh, my calling is to finance such events. Amen. Because Investing in the things of God. The power of the altar. So I don't think you may Showed them the things. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe if you laid hands on me, you commissioned me for specifically that. I'll be able to see the grace of the Lord. <laughs> so that's why. Bring the oil. <laughs> Sijakulinda. Ona urjogo jenonya. 
Uh, he's the one I've been searching for. Amen. 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 Now I love pastoring people who pick the anointing on me. I think Ken, Ken is picking the anointing from me. Right? As his spiritual father. By the way, I don't know if I'm your spiritual father. Yes. <laughs> so as his father, he's picking the heart of the father. That's how I know my children. So we're going to anoint him as a kingdom financer. I command the finances of the nations to locate you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth by the apostle commission on my life I give you authority over finances I grant you authority over money today I hereby commission you to attract wealth to multiply wealth of the nations of the world thy hidden wealth in the nations locate you today I ordain you as an apostle for financing the work of God I send you I send you to prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is done. I've sent this one. Amen. Amen. Now we are This this woman of God. My daughter. Amen. Amen. You know, she has been mobilizing Kayunga. And in last election, she was cheated. She was supposed to be the member of parliament. And they cheated her. I will claim that victory. I am going to take my place in the member of the spirit. Amen. Amen. I want to claim that victory. And I want to claim that one day she will be a prime minister. You are joking with me. This woman. If she can mobilize a district, she's mobilizing a nation. She's part of my team from today to mobilize the nation. We shall go with her to Chenjojo, to Ibanda, to Luelo. She will be part of our secretariat. You know, we are setting up a national secretariat of the prayer altar. A national secretariat of the prayer altar. National secretariat. And I now I have the team. The national secretariat. National secretariat. That will coordinate all the districts. And then begin to coordinate the nations of Africa. Into a continental altar. We, are in, we don't have a denomination. We, are we are not saying we are Pentecostal, we are this. And this is not for Lifeway. Lifeway is just hosting us. That's why we are going to set up a national secretariat. Open to everyone who believes in prayer. We are, we are buying a piece of land in Kayunga. We are buying it. How many? Is it? Is it a hundred acres? A hundred acres of land. Which will be a prayer mountain. The first in Kayunga. 
I believe we'll have one in Chenjojo. And one, one in Ibanda. You know, I want the whole nation to be covered in prayer. I want to commission Agatha. In the apostolic office. On the prayer altar here. I want to commission her in the apostolic office. If they ask her, who ordained an apostle? Tell them, Apostle James Kawalia ordained me in the apostolic. In the apostolic, in the governance mountain. An apostle on the governance mountain. You understand what I said? There is another young man. He's not here today. Derek is not here. I'm supposed to commission him as a member of parliament in the next parliament. In the next parliament, I want to send at least 70 people under my apostleship. I want to send 70 prayer warriors as members of parliament in the next parliament. Derek is not here. Eh? Derek is not here. Amen. Amen. Even those that are going for the LOC local council. LOC three, LOC local council one, two, three, four, four, five. Five. If you feel now God is calling you to be a counselor, I will also anoint you. Amen. Amen. political party. We don't have a political party. You know where you will fall. For us, we give those that are righteous. Whatever color you are, we don't As mind. long as you confess Jesus. And as long as you, you allow me to train you in spiritual things. But now when I take them, I'm going to take them through training. Everyone I'm going to commission in parliament, I'm going to How take them to raise through training. A parliament altar. And then it will form a national prayer cabinet. Ah, it's going to be great. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can you raise your hand, everybody? Father God, I bring uh, your servant, my daughter Agatha. By the apostolic commission upon my life, I commission her into the apostolic. Father, grant her the keys of governance. By this anointing, gates be opened before her. Mountains be leveled. Valleys be filled. People shall be willing. Millions of people shall gather around you. You shall rise, you shall be strong. And rise in the anointing of Deborah. To be a judge. To be a judge. In the name of Jesus. It will be a judge. May the Lord give you authority over the law. Because from today, I send you in the governance mountain. In Jesus' name. Amen. I, I, I don't know you. I don't know your education. But I pray that you go and also have a learning, uh, a connection to law. But God wants to use you in that area. And you understand the law of the land. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ah, what a great day. Now she's commissioned. Amen. Uh, I want to also take a, just a few minutes before I share with you our final uh, impartation. I want to welcome Pastor Harriet and Pastor Chirumira to come and greet us and their team. They come from Freedom Worship Center in Entebbe. Our friends, our partners, we've been ministering to their ministry and they've come today. So I want, them to, I want us to welcome them. Amen. Come on. 
Come on, you can clap better than that. We are glad to see you. Come on, 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 come Praise our God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amanya Chirumira Joffre. My that is his name. Dimusumba mu Freedom Worship Center. He is a pastor in Freedom Worship Center. And TV. And TV. Satan Budenzeka. I didn't come alone. Natambude no magalwa wang. I came with my beloved. Harriet Chidumida. And that's her name. She's also a pastor in Freedom Worship Center. We didn't still come alone. We are with Pastor Pros Kasimbi. And we are with Minister Antegi. We also have some other ministers we came with. They are in the congregation. Wave to the people. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God for welcoming us in this place. I believe God that this is not our last time to come in this place. I see a door being opened for us to be a part of this ministry in the name of Jesus. Let them say a word or two. <laughs> Praise our Jesus. Let's clap for him. Hallelujah. We want, I want to appreciate God. The one who has led us to come to this place. It's not easy. Praise God. We don't live far. We live very close. But we don't normally get up. But when we get up, there is always a reason. Praise God. I really honor God for giving us this chance to stand in this place. And I believe that whoever is here is really blessed. I want to appreciate the ministers of this place for the great work you do. I want to honor Mama Musumba. Mama Pastor. Juliet Kawalia. Musumba Mwenyini. The resident pastor. Apostle James Kawalia. The pastor himself, Pastor James Kawalia. A Kanisa ya Life Life Church of Christ. Life Church of Christ. Amen. May God bless you. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. What has really brought me here? Yesterday's message. I was trying to follow this convention online. But the short time I got yesterday I felt that I should come here praise the Lord 
And I want to talk to Pastor Apostle James. Praise the Lord. I felt that the message was not for pastors. The message is supposed to be for the sheep. Not for the pastors. And we are going to have a serious talk. Until the sheep know and honor the shepherd. They will not get delivered. Praise the Lord. Of course, the altars will be defiled according to what I learned yesterday. And they will not be a breakthrough, a spiritual breakthrough. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The, the, the message was so good, and it is too hard for a pastor. To go back and teach the same message to the sheep. Amen. Amen. According to the generation we have. And according to the season we have. They will misinterpret us. They are not going to understand us. Praise the Lord. So it's my request, my humble request. Before anything takes place, that Pastor James should go back and teach the sheep. The importance, the importance, the role of a priest. Excuse me a little bit. Among my parents, I have only one. But I made sure that before one parent passed on, I get all the blessings. And that was my late father. And my mother is still alive. I cannot dare allow it to happen. That old woman to die without blessing me. Actually, she is already blessing me. She is already, she's always blessing me. I joined this church when I was still young. I was a, a, a teenager. Praise the Lord. And by the grace of God, I started reading and studying the Bible. And I, I observed that a pastor a man of God or a woman of God is very important in my life. And is, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say, it's not something you have to play with. My journey to where I am, it's long. And I made sure that to be careful before this man of God I'll do it until I have you understood it is really a long process it took me 23 years to, take, to get that mantle but finally I got it Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I got it. I did not get a curse from him. But I got a blessing. I worked too hard. To see that I get that mantle. I prayed too much. 
I fasted. Nasiba. I served under him. Very carefully. Praise the Lord. Until it happened. And I'm blessed. And our ministry is blessed. Praise the Lord. But according to yesterday's message. Pastor James. James. wants watch the sheep are under a curse because they don't know. Have you understood that? They are under. I've come here so we can agree with Pastor James. Praise God. For him to teach the sheep. <laughs> Monsoon, you walk around, come Which pastor? Gambotu Fugue, or Motimago Menya for Rendic. And you're there and you're heartbroken because of your sheep. Wow. Ovalava. Mitima Minyam Menya Fu. The hearts are broken. Amaziga manji. The tears are really many. Okunyo mebwa. Are being despised. Okujogebwa. Being despised. Okusali roi misang. Being judged. Okuvumibwa. Being abused. Nebi dala bameka. And 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 so much. Wow. Namuati. Namamuri wobi. Mukama febazu. Praise our God. <laughs> if you're also bad love, invite me to teach you and you teach my mind. My <laughs> but the truth is, praise our God. Until you get to know the value and importance of the person God has given you you can never be delivered you cannot get the blessing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I had talked about it a few days I said in Uganda the sheep in Uganda slap you and you are the pastor and you are the one who prays a person gets blessed. Na yemo West 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 uh, West Africans. Na yeri mo bugwanju ba wa Africa. Nina mikuano jange minch. I have a lot of friends there. Neba kumanyanti wa man of God. If they get to know that a woman of God. Obama chala wa katoni. Oni ne waba ina master degrees. It doesn't matter how educated they are. Afuka mida na kuwane chwe wa yo. They will kneel down and give you an offering. Muka ma yeba zuri. Praise God. Kakat. Now, Paka to today, you Pastor James say again. I could day in Tibi. Pastor James is going back to in Tibi. I saw me servant and teach the people. Oh, Musumba Yani, who a priest is. So that the pastors become faster when they are happy and they are at peace and release what God has given them unto their sheep so that the things can move well. who is in support. Amen. Praise our God. So that things move well. With those words. We love you in the name of Jesus. We are in Entebbe. Praise our Lord. If you're going to the international airport in Tebe, you can wave to us in the name of Jesus. Um, we are on Spark TV on Sunday at 6. Every Sunday at 6. Sunday coming up, Biddy, a two bed a co on Sunday at six. Mokama favors away. Praise our Tatambla Tambla and younger Pastor James. We have not moved a lot like Nanga to Jatanico Tambula, but we shall start moving. Mokama Yabas, praise God. Gamadi is a same by you. As I finish the last thing, you're not to be calling. Let us do all. Nekatonda Yagalogo to Kuf. But God desires holiness.
God desires holiness because he is holy. Holiness begins with any pastor one. Who is the pastor here? It begins with, with, with me. And enter the flock. May God bless you so much. As we pray for in the name of Jesus. Amen. Musumba tu yanzi zanyo. Omo ni munga omo nene. Tendi ganga de diso meseka. Na de mendi abasumba. Let me teach the pastor. But they was meseka endiga. To go back and teach the sheep. Pastor, I want to go to Jimmy. Now my people have go to Jimmy. Sister, who has caused them to? Bagaj, bagaj, you see me ango. It is not easy. By the way, yesterday, Jew, before you speak, to share that message, I left the altar. I went and sat. Sorrow came upon me. And that Pastor Farid and my wife, they were so troubled. And I came to the studio and I cried. I went to the studio. I didn't know why. Until the Lord gave me that message. And my servants, because they've been dishonored, the altar is also defiled. They pray through pain. It is the pain you feel now. This, the Lord told me something yesterday. It is illegal. For the priest to bring the sacrifice. It's illegal in the realm of the spirit for you to be the priest at the same time look for the sacrifice. Amen? Amen. Technician, it is illegal. To give a sacrifice, you are the priest, and you are the one who has sacrificed. All the people under you have come under curse. When the priest starts hunting for the sacrifice, all the people under that altar are under curse. Kabona, ye. Receive the sacrifice. Let the priest receive the sacrifice and put it on the altar. But the day the priest looks for the sacrifice. He builds the altar. He buys power. He buys water. And buys for you food. And preaches. And yet they were fasting. They were in prayer in the night. You get that 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 where the priesthood has been defiled. Now, the same priest who prays for you, you want them to come and do a business where you are working. Then you become competitors. You have a shoe. They also have a shoe. When he's breaking their enemies, he breaks you too. Because he's fighting the enemies of his business. <laughs> Ajijeko, tu e microfone nala. Musumba, pasta. Natona natu kana kusente. Before we get to money, walowe ebi intu bitu inokutandi kida ko. There are things we should start with. Bwabanga musumba y musumba. If it is your pasta, I immediately day mchifocha katonda. Who is standing in the place of God? How can they call you and you refuse to pick? <laughs> you make the phone busy. If it is indeed your pastor, because he stands in the, in the place of God, how can the sheep be under the pastor and then they blame the pastor and say the pastor is wrong? Do you understand it? Properly? Praise our Lord Jesus. You call someone who is a sheep and say, Pastor is calling you. And someone goes around. They first cater to the rich person who has packed before we get even to looking for money. Praise our Lord Jesus. There is being minimized 
that has gone beyond being minimized not understanding the person God has given you praise our Lord Jesus this is what I expect that the one who has minimized the servant of God who has not listened to the servant of God has minimized God praise Jesus one man gave birth to a son and the son became so rich and used to say please come and visit me and the man said no come and visit me the Lord has blessed me and the father went to visit the son when he visited him he did it intentionally they gave him drinks father poured the drinks in the chair and the son came found the father had poured the drinks in the chair lifted up his I don't want this I do not want this father how can you do something like this I don't like this see what you've done to my chairs and the father apologized and uh, wiped the chair and said bye but when he would never return to that day, before he left he told him I have just spilled the chair but when you were young you were doing your pupu everywhere and I cleaned you and I helped you even how you've studied it is me your father what can you repay from your childhood up to now I've just poured drinks in the chair and said my son that is why I never wanted to come to your home the ship you've prayed for maybe they've not yet driven cars but they are believers because of your they are alive because of your prayers they've gotten somewhere because of your prayers praise our Lord Jesus but lack of knowledge has brought problems maybe us the pastors we have a problem pastor how do you behave but me concerning me no matter how the parent behaves my position as a child I must remain honoring my parent yes we have as well that is my name I thank God because I'm in this place every time I listen to Pastor Kawalia teaching I am blessed and I learn a lot praise God may the Lord bless you indeed praise the Lord that is my name we entered here in the morning you, you could feel that the place we've come to was special praise the Lord what we found here you do not just enter anywhere and find so, it so I thank God that I've been given uh, that I've been given an opportunity to be in this place today may the Lord bless you indeed because ever since I the, the teaching of Apostle James Kawalia as if I've just gotten born again concerning the things of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. We will come you. Uh,
now we are going to be in TV. Because now you have Hey, mtu was a banja. To do. Amen. To do. Amen. Amen. How many people were blessed and touched by the teaching about the priesthood? Bameka abawele do mkisa ila ne mukomebo wako kusomesa kubwa kabona. Amen. Amen. I want to take a few minutes. Yagala okutwala ida chikantono to continue in the priesthood. Ogenda maso ne mubwa kabona. From the priest of the house. Okuva kukabona at your home. Iwaka to the priest of the nation. Okutuka kukabona owegwanga. There's a priest of a home. Waliwo kabona wawaka. The priest of a, con- a congregation. Kabona owechibina. But how about the priesthood of the land? Wabutia ate obwa kabona obwegensi. The priesthood of the nation. Obwa kabona obwegwanga. Hallelujah. Amen. I will take some time to share something briefly then we shall go in the next session. Nja kutwala kadde okubako chenga bana mu bwangu tugende mu chidako. Pastor Musumba, we are blessed that you are here. Tuwele duo mksanti muli wano. Ah uh, I think we should also have Pastor Harriet on worship t- television. worship television. Amen. Uh, we God has blessed us. Mukama with worship TV. Ne worship TV. We are on free to air and go TV. Tuliku free to air ne go TV. We believe in a few months we shall also be on Star Times. Ila tukiliza mieze mitondo tujja kuwa ku Star Times. And we are also starting uh radio stations in different regions but our tv station na tv station yafe, and the radio stations the radio stations are only for prayer worship and the word only kusinza kusaba na chigambo cha katonda kusaba prayer kusinza worship ne chigambo and the word tetuina mauli ne we don't have news we don't have entertainment because our tv station kubanga tv station yafe, and the radio stations that are coming the radio station is gendo kuja altars of the lord yoto bya mukama me i was called for the altar nze naiti bwa kulwa choto and if the church bwange kanisa the believer understood the importance of the altar in the spirit realm the importance of the altar and our altars are in position of being accepted then our spiritual lives will be victorious Nothing happens in the spirit without the altar. Nothing is done in the spirit without the altar. Amen. But when the altar is illegal all irregular the nation goes into calamities when you see disasters in the land it's because the altar is misplaced when you see calamities when you see death bloodshed in the nations it's because the altar that was supposed to align that nation to the purpose of God is misplaced. But when the altar is in the right position when it's legal and, and, and it it is positioned in the right standing atenga chiri mu chifo we chiri no kubere chitufu the lord reigns mukama yabera fuga and the earth rejoices oronensi ebere jaganya and the people are glad era na abantu babera basanyufu and the people are glad na abantu babera basanyufu those in the kingdom of darkness abo abali mbwaka bakawe chizikiza invest a lot in their altars batekamu chinene nnyo mu byoto byabwe 
Look at the people from the the, the, the Indian businessmen. Before they start a business in a nation. Before they build a factory. Before they start their hotels. They invest a lot of money in their temples. They first build a temple. In the city in the prime of the city. They get the best priests of their faith who are set apart for the altar. Give them the best homes. Give them the best treatment. When their altar is established, you cannot remove them from the land. Because the altar owns the land. The altar is like the mark stone. Whoever plants the altar owns the city. Because he has planted a mark stone. The spirit realm recognizes the altar as the ownership of the land. Someone said the altar. Someone tell them about the altar. Say the altar. Gambe choto. Abasinza ebirala. Those who worship other things. Boba tegera. They understood the spiritual operations. Ebiyo botia boko la ebiintu ebiyo moyo. Boba They understood. I know people. Who understood a priest? And for them to, they honored this priest. There is a priest in this nation. Who, who even, even he has, she has escorts. Hmm? Government cars that clear the way for her. She's She's like a VIP. Why? Because those in authority know there can't be power on the throne without, without the altar. Because the altar is the source of spiritual power. Please tell your neighbor life is spiritual. Say life is spiritual. And to overcome in life you need spiritual power. Spiritual what? But the source of spiritual power is from the altar. Yesterday I was showing you that even in heaven, the altar is needed. Even in heaven, the altar is needed. When God was giving the people how to make the tabernacle. When you are entering the tabernacle, the first thing that you encounter is the altar. And then when you go in the in the holy place. Before you cross into the holy of holies. At the door of the holies of holies. There is another altar. So there are two altars in the tabernacle. Can you imagine? How important the altar is. From the family altar. Hello. Hello. The family altar. The the church altar, the territorial altar, and the national altar. Amen. Amina. Now, let me tell you this. The priesthood, when the priesthood of the land is defiled, the land goes into captivity. All over the land vomits the owners. The land vomits the 
inhabitants. If you are spiritually sensitive and one of these days you go to Entebbe airport, you will tell the land is vomiting the inhabitants. Our young girls and young boys, the next generation, the wives of our sons are sold in slavery every day in hundreds. Most of your sons years to come will not find a wife because all their wives are sold in slavery their wives, hundreds of them, every day, they are sold into the Middle East. And we, we sell land to send our children into slavery. We pray for them to go into slavery. Now, if you don't understand spiritual things, you may think it's just a wolf making money. But if you understand what's going in the spirit, the land is vomiting us. And everywhere, when we send our children, a foreigner comes and buys a whole village. Why? Because of the priesthood. Because of the priesthood. If I challenge people here, all seated here, and I say, how many people here you own land at least five acres of, of land. Some people, I don't know how many hands I will get. Don't lift your hands. If I asked you, how many of us own at least five acres of land? But there are people who are foreigners who own hundreds of acres of the land because the land is vomiting the priesthood and the people of the land. Amen. Amen. That's why me, I don't believe in just praying. After praying, what next? I need to redeem the land. That's why we are getting those 100 acres in Kayunga. To raise the 100 acre altar in Kayunga. In Kayunga. The first of its own. It's going to be 100 acres of the altar. Prayer houses, a, a, sala, a, a prayer hotel, hotel prayer cubicles, cubicles the prayer chapels, chapels gardens, gardens, a hotel, hotel, a whole city, a prayer city. That will be the altar in the land. Me, I'm not looking at putting there some small huts. I'm looking at a, a very beautiful place as the altar of the Lord in the land where we can have our food we have our, our, our facilities even we can have our prayer school and our prayer university are you getting what I'm talking about? because prayer must bring transformation amen prayer must bring transformation. So we are going to have a model. The land, that land, the Andalan will be a model. We want to see how prayer and transformation can work. Then we shall bring people to see that model. Then they go back to their nations and do the same. Amen. Amina. I will not wait for, for, for parish parish model. I will not wait for government money. Because government has a lot of problems. And I believe I want to be a solution also. I don't want to be those who criticize. Eh? 
criticize. Ah, they are not doing this for us. No, I am part of the solution. I am part of the solution. Oh, in the nation. Amen. Amen. If it, oh, it's my, the issue of Uganda, Uganda have nothing to do with who is president. The issues of Uganda are about the priesthood. Not the president. Si president. It's not the president. Si Even if you made me president today, president today things will be like they were there. Eh, Maybe bibi. even worse. Without the priesthood. If there is no priesthood in the land, the land go into desolation. There's a story here in the Bible. There were, uh, this story really touched me. In the book of Joshua, chapter 22, verse 10. And when they came to the region of the Jordan, that is in the land of Canaan. The people of Laoban and the people of Gad and the half tribe of Manasseh built there an altar by the Jordan, an altar of imposing size. Webatu Kamonsi Eridanya Yudani, Erimonsia Kanani, Avana Valeobeni, Nabana Bagadi, Nechitundu Chech Kachamanasi, Neba Zimba or Echotok Yorudani, Echote Chinene, Echitunuridwa. And the people of Israel had and said, Behold, the people of Lauben and the people of Gad and the half tribe of Menesse have built the altar at the frontier of the land of Canaan in the region about the Jordan on the side that belonged to the people of Israel. And when the people of Israel heard of it, the whole assembly of the people of Israel gathered at Shiloh to make war against them. Then the people of Israel sent to the people of Laoban and the people of Gad and half tribe of Manasseh in the land of Gilead. Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the priest, and with him ten chiefs, one of them each of the tribal families of Israel, every one of them the head of a family among the clans of Israel. Abana wa Israeli, nebatuma fine kansi, omwana wa Eliaziri, kabona, Eli abana wa laube, nabana wa gadi, echitundu chechikacha manase, monsi ye geriadi, era wa muna ye, abakuru kumi, buli chikacha Israeli, omukumu, omukuru omu, owe nyumba, yaba chitawe, buli omu ya limutwe, gwe nyumba, zaba chitawe, and they came to the people of Laoban and the people of God and the half tribe of Manasseh in the land of Gilead and they said to them that says the whole congregation of the Lord what is this breach of faith that you've committed against the God of Israel in turning away this day from following the Lord by building yourself an altar this day in rebellion against the Lord Bagambanti, Echimina Cham Kamacho Nab which you get up with it, and Chono no Chichino, Chemwayo no na Erika Tonda Wais Dairi, O Kuchama Lero, Obutagomera Mukama, Kubanga, Mwezimbi de Choto, O Kujemeda Mukama Lero. Now the 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 tribes of Israel Kakati Echikacha Israel because they understood the the effect of an altar. Kubanga bategera chiche choto chesobolo kola. They realize some of their members have gone ahead bagenze maso and built an altar. Neba zimbe choto. Like you were here chiringa ngabo bangu and you here. That some of your brothers have gone in the village and built a shrine. And you were here and Chibirige kasule, and Kasule went to the village and they've built a shrine. For you to take it lightly. Do you understand what I'm saying? The children of Israel that some of their people kasule, Kasule, Kalule, Chibirige, Chibirige, Chibirige and Chirumira. They went secretly and they built a shrine. 
Ngamwe chali e wamwe as it was in your home. Hello? Hello. Kati ngamu siri senya. Now why are you so quiet? Ngamwe chali e wamwe as it was in your home. No waulira. You had the matovu that matovu iga iga muonge muonge ni nakanuaji ni Kenya bagenze they went bone basi imbe sabo wande kwete wagenze even though you did not go. But you're there. Someone calls you and say, and and They went and built an altar. And you take it lightly or jokingly. They are trying to install a certain priesthood in the bloodline. You've missed that. They are trying to install a priesthood and every priesthood has its law which becomes the law of the land or the law of the bloodline. Do you understand? Then you discover for me I'm not part of it then you find that your son is now grinding you were not there then you find that your children are getting sick you find that they are, they are, they are, they are, they are miscarrying you find they are chasing you from the job and they ask you how come you are no longer working I lost my job you, you refuse to be part of the things we went and did them so to Israel, Israel, it was not a little thing some of them to build an altar. And they built it on the side of the children of Israel. The altar you've built. You have built it on our land. That is not something You are small. introducing a priesthood in our area. And it's going to cost us. The next verse says, have we not had enough of the sin of prayer which even yet we have not cleansed ourselves we have not dealt with the sin of prayer what again are you bringing to us listen to what the bible says have we not had enough of the sin at power from which even yet we have not cleansed ourselves. And for which there came a plague upon the congregation of the Lord that you two must turn away this day from following the Lord. And if you two rebel against the Lord today, then tomorrow he will be angry with the whole congregation of Israel. Okuwa lirizi woku chama lero, obuta gobele la mukama, era kubanga mjiemira mukama lero, e nchana alioka sungu wala, e chibi na chona, e chai sirairi. Baga, mwemuma inchi ya mutule etera. Do you understand what you're bringing to us? You're doing it now. But tomorrow when the anger starts, it is our children who are going to run mad. Do you understand? So they are telling them, have we not had enough? Have we not suffered enough? Tell your neighbor, have we not suffered enough? Maybe go back and tell, tell your, tell your siblings, but haven't we suffered enough? Has this house, haven't we suffered enough? 
Tetukubidwe chimala. Haven't we been hit enough? Abana bafe batwaliwa mu buddu. Our children are being taken to slavery. Those who get married do not give birth. Those who give birth do not get married. The, one who, the ones who work do not profit. And even the ones who are born again seem like they are not born again. Haven't we suffered enough? Is there someone I'm speaking to? When you gather all your siblings from the youngest to the eldest, look at them and ask them and tell them back. Masebe, Kabali, Kabali, Kajubi, 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 we suffered enough. Wanji? Hello? Why are you so quiet now? Now, haven't we suffered enough? The whole congregation says, You guys, we don't know what you, we heard you've raised an altar. But we are going to fight because you. what you're It's not for you only. It's going to affect all of us. Those here, those who went to London, Russia, those in Russia, America, those in America, Canada, those in Canada, when there is no difference among all of them, there is no difference among all of them. Because of the altar that was raised, which you knew about and, and did not take action. You knew the altar and you acted like it doesn't concern you. What they are doing doesn't concern you. And they built their altar and they were involved in for seven days you're eating chips you're thinking it doesn't affect you it is like as if it is but usual. a few days but tomorrow it will affect us <laughs> What did you do? Wakola wochi. It doesn't concern me. Bikwatako. It concerns you. Bikwatako. It did. It does concern Yenzo you. Warokoka. That is the reason why you got born e again. Rokola. The reason why you got born again. Chokola. That you may do something about it. Chokola. You got born again that you may do something e about it. You got born again that you may do something kukola. about it. You got born again that you may you do something. You got saved to act. Waloko ka obeko chokola. Not to hide. Sikuwe kweka. Not to run. Siku duka. You can't run from the altar. Tosobo la kuduka America. Even though you go to America. They will bring you back when you've run mad. The altar will recall you. The altar will recall you. When you've got to America. And it will call you back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uruganda yangamba. Uh, one brother told me left here went to Canada. The day he got to Canada three of, of the siblings and two aunties they called each other and they met and they said we have come to know this one has gone to Canada. <laughs> went with our evil spirits he has gone to Canada I took the night he was in Canada he had a job they had gone to work legally with a contract that night he got a dream these three, the brothers and the aunties had summoned him in a court. 
he was in the court by the time he came out of the dream <laughs> they had they had lost and they had the verdict was that they, are, they were going to undress him and he would walk around naked after coming out of the dream got the phone called his brother and said I had a dream you and the other and, the other one. One. and these aunties you had done something to me. what did you do and the brother responded and told him yes do you think we are stupid do you think we did not understand how you left do you think we did not understand how you left you think we are stupid we are also learned even our children but all of them who of them has gone to where you've gone you are the one who has been making us suffer we have known you went with our evil spirits and he quarreled after quarreling put down the phone and reported to work when he got to work switched on the computer and it put on a certain light and the eyes were blinded he could not see the first day at work he could not see they took him to hospital and the whites loved him so because much. Because of his CV. CV. Now we shall do whatever it takes. To work on your site. Yes, Six months they are, they are treating him. Because the eyes were now blind. He broke his leg. Because he doesn't he see. Bwati. He woke up. And, and he broke his leg Kata while stepping on something. Kukuru. They started now treating the leg. One year and seven months. They put him on the plane and they said we've tried return to your home. And he returned. No one was to receive him at the airport. They just put him on the plane. He got to the airport. But God helped him. When he got to the airport he said wait. Wait. Something Wait. is wrong. The girl who was pushing him to take him from the plane. What's wrong? And, I, and said, oh, Lina, oh, Lina, said, Is there a pastor you know who can help me? And he said, I know the pastor. He's called Pastor James. And called me. I went to the airport and picked him. And I told him, you're not going home. I'm now going <laughs> to hospitalize you I'm going to hospitalize you. Don't even tell them you're back. I'm going to hospitalize you. I hospitalized him. And we prayed. I put him in the car. We went. To Nakasongola, where his birthplace. We dealt with the altar which was there. And I told him now what you're going to do. You're going to get a house. You raise an altar. Become a priest before you apply for the new job. Have you heard what I've said? Have you had the testimony? You get a house and raise your altar. Become a priest and dislodge the evil priesthood that is in your bloodline. You've not had that. Raise your altar. Zimba echotocho. Become the priest. Fuka kabona wacho. And retrench the evil priesthood in the bloodline. Na we osengule obwa kabona obwa mubi obuli mumusai. Tome ya choto ngatoli kabona. Do not break the altar unless you are priest. It's the altar. Kuchoto. That destroys the altar. Echoto chechizikirize choto. It is the priesthood. Obwa kabona. That dislodge the priesthood. Webu sengula obwa kabona buo mubi. Omara wabara kubao and a priesthood office. Opaka ngwaliwo ya office yobwa kabona. To now. 
overcome the reigning priesthood. Have you understood that? And many of us, we go in appointments only for the altars to disappoint us. And, and say, you cannot take that office. You cannot, because the altar can be used as a court to execute judgment against someone. And say we shall take them to the city to the, to the altar of Rwanda. I have come to report. I have come to report James. The, the elders. Now this altar is powerless if there is an altar in your life. But if there is no altar in your life, this altar occupy the empty space of your life. Because part of your life must be occupied in the altar with the altar by the altar. Have you understood that? From your home. If the altar is not in your house, another altar is reigning in your house. There is no space in the world that is not occupied. Where there is no godly altar, an evil altar occupies. There is no place where you find that there is no the altar. If there is no altar of prayer in your house, at least TV may the television become the altar. Where the, it will be the altar used by your children what to involve themselves in society. Choto. The phone may become the altar where, which you use in order to be involved in society. Do you know that most of us here, before you pray, you first report to your phone. The, mo the moment you wake up, go switching on altar, you. you switch on your altar. Go so go WhatsApp. You first go to WhatsApp. Go go then you go to prayer. Now your phone became the altar. Whatever occupies you is because an altar is attracting you to it. There is an altar attracting you to that thing. There is an altar called WhatsApp. There is an altar called TikTok. There is an altar called Facebook. And other kinds of altars. That now, behind those platforms, that's why they are called platforms. Because they are altars. That's why they're called platform. Social media platform. It's an altar. Behind the technology, there is a God worshipped. There is a sacrifice given. There is an altar. Behind Twitter. Behind YouTube. Those are the new things. Now. But there are others. Every political party is an altar. It's an altar. And every altar has its character. Every party has its character. character yellow, see, red. The character of yellow is not a character of And the people are different. According to the altars reigning in them. And the ones of red are different from the ones of yellow. And even the behaviors of the people are different. The ones of yellow do not come to red. Because the altars are different. And even the ones of the green come slowly. Those are the Another one is violent. Another one is violent. Another one is violent. And all of them are altars. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If they are different, another one moves slowly. Pola. Slowly, slowly, and another one. It is very hard. It is also there. 
That is another kind of altar. <laughs> there are different altars. <laughs> now for you doesn't understand now the spiritual are Now we are Why are you current? Because you don't have your altar. Because there is no altar. That's why you are current. That's why you are begging from altars. You are begging altars because you don't have an altar. But you must be because there. Altars control wealth. Altars are platforms of influence. There is nowhere the altar is and there is no wealth. That's why all these platforms are wealth. Because the altar control wealth. Did you know that? That the altar is the custodian of wealth. It is the custodian of wealth. That's why people subscribe to the altar. Because wealth is spiritual. And spiritual things proceed from the altar. Wealth comes from the altar. Wealth proceeds from the altar. Amen. Power proceeds from the altar. Life proceeds from the altar. Power comes from the altar. Ask your neighbor. How is your altar? How is the priesthood in your house? How is the priesthood in your house? How is the priesthood? If you are a husband and you are the priest of the house, you commit adultery. You've not only cheated your wife. You have sold the priesthood and the destiny of your children. Because you have defiled the altar of marriage. You have defiled the altar of marriage. You have sold the priesthood. Hello? Hello? Amen. Amina. Let me see the priests in the house. So, these, the nation, I'm, the tribes I'm talking about, the tribes, they said no. Verse 19 says, but now if the land of your possession is unclean, pass over into the Lord's land where the Lord's tabernacle stands and take for yourselves a possession among us. Only do not rebel against the Lord and make us as rebels by building for yourselves an altar other than the altar of the Lord our God. Then the people of Laoban, the people of God, and the half tribe of Manasseh said, in answer to the heads of the families of Israel, Verse 21. The mighty one God, the Lord, the mighty one God, the Lord, he knows and let Israel itself know. If it was in rebellion or in breach of faith against the Lord, do not spare us today for building an altar to turn away from following the Lord. All, if we did so to offer burnt offerings and grain offering or peace offering on it, may the Lord himself take vengeance. No, but we did it from fear that in time to, listen to that. We did this. I enjoy this. So we much. did this in fear. 
Mukutia. that in time to come your children might say to our children what have you to do with the Lord and the God of Israel for the Lord has made the Jordan a boundary between us and you you people of Laoban and people of God you have no portion in the Lord so your children might make our children might make our children cease to worship the Lord. Your children they will, they will cause our children to cease to worship God. Therefore we said let us now build an altar not for burnt offerings not for sacrifice but to be a witness between us and you between our generation after us that we do perform the service of the Lord in his presence with our burnt offerings sacrifice offering, peace offering so your children will not say to our children time to come you have no portion in the Lord and we thought if this should be said to us and to our descendants in time to come we should say behold the copy of the altar of the Lord which our fathers made not to burn offering not to sacrifice but to be witness between us and you far be it from us that we should rebel against the Lord and turn away this day from following the Lord by building an altar for burnt offering grain offering and other offering of the Lord our God that stand before us before his tabernacle. Now, so they tell them, Katibaba Gamba, uh-huh. no. We, the, we did not build an altar. We are not going to give a sacrifice. The reason why we've built this altar, we saw that your children, in the time to come, may come against our children. And they tell them that this river Jordan is the, the boundary between us. And they hinder them from worshipping our God. That is why we built this altar. That it may be our witness that our God is your God. Now this is an important thing I want us to speak. The importance of the altar. By the way, a civil war was going to start. Civil war, not world war. Civil war, not world war. When the children of Manasseh and the children of God they were going to start a civil war with Israel they kill each other because of one thing the altar all the wars you see in the nation in Russia Ukraine they, they do not concern anything else the war of the when you go to Israel, Israel and Palestine, they don't fight for anything else. But they are fighting for something small. It is in Jerusalem where Abraham was going to sacrifice That's Isaac. The, the contention. People have fought for years. Israelites and they the are fighting for the altar. They are not fighting for anything else. They are fighting for the place where the altar is. We are the ones who are here. Even though you take other areas, but here, here this is our altar. Do you understand? When you go to Israel, you'll be amazed. We don't want Uganda. Even if you say we've given you Uganda, they'll set it to Jagala. We want that place. I found a man crying. An old man. I found him crying. He is a Jew. Coming from America. A rich man. Are you supposed to go? He was supposed to go. There is a place they pray from. I supposed to go there. Are you not going there? 
But but just to get there. But there is a mosque. Now on that day, they were looking forward to rise and go to the holy place. They found the Arabs did they were involved in chaos. You are not allowed to climb up there. And they closed the gate. I found him seated on the pavement with the wife and his children. They were crying. The old man. What's going on? And I asked churches again. I've waited for this for all my life. I'm 78. I don't know if I'll make it next year. I have not ascended the hill of the Lord. Why am I living? Why am I even living? Can I pray for Don't pray for me. Our fathers told us we should come to this place. But I cannot access it. I cannot access this place. And he's crying like a baby. And sat down and he was breaking. And the reason why he was crying. And the wife tried to calm him down and say, Don't even do it. Leave him alone. He seated on the ground. Crying. And I was wondering why is this woman crying? This man crying. I have not been able to access the altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I ask him what should we do? You now enjoy such things. I enjoy things which have been done. And I said, what should we do? Where are you from? I said I'm from Uganda. Ah, oh, you come from Uganda. Over Uganda. Let's go for lunch. We went for lunch. Why do you come to Israel? I come to Israel every year. To pray for Israel. Because the Bible says, Blessed are they who bless Israel. We are fulfilling the covenant. Wow. A Gentile? I felt bad. But I kept quiet. He has already bought me a Gentile. Blessing Adonai Elohim. Adonai Elohim. Wow. I've never seen a wise Gentile like you. Now. I said now I've got the opportunity to preach the gospel. But in the New Testament, Yeshua, Yesu, Messiah, became, Yesu. The, became the high priest. That is <laughs> That is, that, is where the that is where the friendship ended. He became so annoyed. He was almost refusing to pay that bill. He walked away. And we lost the friendship. <laughs> Even up to now. But what I learned. The how people understand and treasure the altar. I've gone back to where I was telling you. In the scripture we are reading. People raise the altar. Two tribes. A tribe and the ten tribes said. What these people are doing is not going to affect them only. It's going to affect the whole congregation. Like what happened at the place when Akan sinned, it affected all of us. No way. Even you. No way. Even you. Let me tell you, brothers. It's the reason why I stopped praying deliverance for people in the church. I stopped. When I'm praying for people to be delivered, I take them to their homes. 
Jebazaribwa. Where they are born from. And I speak to the land. Nenjogera erietaka to release them. Because the altar of that land has the records of all the children of that family. So if I go to the land and raise the altar of the land and retrench and, and, and remove the priesthood that is responsible for this bondage. And I introduce the priesthood of Jesus Christ on the land the children are set free that is what I do and that, that's what stops death because the altar an evil altar it needs sacrifice but the sacrifice of the evil altar is death of the members of the family the altar of God brings life. The devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The altar of the devil, if it is in your home, it came to kill. It kills. It kills children. It destroys money. It destroys wisdom. It destroys marriages. When it is still there. It may not kill you physically, but every month you're the one buried. And every, the, all the money you receive is for, to be and used for buried. Because now you're burying your siblings. You're building your younger siblings. You're not yet dead, but you cannot work. Because all the time you are involved in burial. It kills all your siblings. And now they gather all their children and they put them in your home. The money you would use to build for yourself is now taking care of the orphans. And the one who gets to S4, they run man. The one who gets to university, they run man. You, you pay for their fees and you end up with nothing. When the altar has destroyed your money, after that, it also comes for the one who is yours. The reason it is destroying you because you did not, you did not take action. You thought denial will solve the problem. Let me hide in salvation. Let me hide in America. But let me tell you the effects of the altar are undeniable. If it's an evil altar, you can be in denial. But we can tell an evil influence on your life. We can tell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you walk on the streets. And you meet people who, when you were growing up, they looked very promising, very intelligent, very advantaged. You meet them, and the first thing you ask, James, James, what happened to you? What happened? Nachawa, what happened? I hate that word, Chechabao. Nachawa, what happened? I hate that word, Chechabao. I hate it. One time it happened to me. I was going outside of Uganda. I go to the airport. I was leaving. VIP. VIP. As I was walking inside, I saw someone I know. And I said, he's the one pushing the trolleys. He's a porter. And I saw him. By the time I remembered I had already spoken, I asked, what happened? He looked down. The one I remember, we used to study together. Is the first child I saw in this world. 
They bring him to school in a And we would wonder how, how did they give back to them. They were brought to school. Driver na parking. The driver parks. Na furuma. Gets out. Naja na abagulira. Comes and opens for them. Neva furuma. They go out. Kaze kusoma. They've come to school. Ele hema kama. And I said God. Njogera kubana. I'm speaking about children. Na yin soma na yi. I used to study with the him. The driver. The driver. Sawa musamu. At one. Avuka na jia kusomero. Comes to school. Alese uniform wa yoku chusa ni ingato. Has brought a uniform for changing and Nga, shoes. Zajira muku macha. The ones they put on in the morning. Bajene ba chusa so we gulo. They come Sam, and change Sam. them at one. Atene ba kena banu na haka ungezi. And they are coming for them in the evening. That is the kind of person I'm speaking about. But he was not so intelligent in class. But that was Whether bright or not, he was well off. He was well off. I found him at the airport now that we had grown. He was pushing the trolleys. And I said, what happened? He looked down. Ken, Ken, be, that in me which is pa a pastor nemuka, let's talk. and nem, nem, I said to Ogere what happened and I said che chari my father Tata wang killed my mother yata mama wang and was taken in prison na tuwali wa mkomera na kati ya chari mkomera up to now he's still in prison buliche tuwali na nechiguao and everything we had we lost it buliche tuwali na chaguao we lost everything they handed us over to our uncle and he took all that belonged to us and he tried he started telling me about his sisters I knew. this one poisoned herself and she died this one Lorraine mad when you go back to Kampala this one sells food there in the park. You can go and greet him. And I said, what about your house? And he said, they took it to me. What about your cars? They, we lost everything. And I said, you. They had taken me when outside returned, of Uganda. When I come out, there was nothing. Until I found a job here. I said, should I tell you? Should I tell you, James? If the Lord helps me and I leave this, and I give back to children, he doesn't have a child. He's, a, he's in late forties like me. If I give back to a child, my children, they will not be involved in sorcery. And I said, one. He said, our father was so rich. But he had a shrine. And I said, now, how does the shrine a come? A time in? came when our father was to sacrifice one of the sons. And my mother refused. And he killed her. That is how everything started. He had to sacrifice a child, the wife refused. In the quarrel, she, he killed her. And they took him to prison. And now the altar destroyed all of them. The altar destroyed all of them. One poison, another one, another one somewhere, and now this is the only, only remaining. Only son. I, I, was, <laughs> I was almost left behind. By I, was so I was so touched. I was so touched. And I looked at a wasted life. The children are evil altars are bad. Are bad. And he cried. And I told him I've gone. He said, let me help you and carry your luggage. He can help me with the luggage. And I went. And I went asking God. Why are people in ignorance? 
That is what they are telling their brothers. As they did in your home. You heard that they had built something. And you did not enter They finished building it. I have a friend. I will not tell you his the name of They are younger siblings. They gathered. And they went and built a shrine. By the time they finished the shrine. A young girl. Pastor Chibirigo got a place for that child in a certain school. Her eyes became blind. Saying the child can no longer see. She, can, she is blind now. Pastor Chibirigo and Pastor Julia, they know. The moment they built a shrine, this child at school, her eyes went blind. Knows that child and even got a place for that in a school for that child. And she was blind. A very bright girl. She's so bright. But when this brother built a shrine, they went to build a shrine in the village. And I said, don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. That doesn't concern me. Now the child can't see. The child can't see. And they look for the brightest. They look for the one who would have taken away the curse of the family. There is one who will break the curse. In every family, in every family, there is someone when they are calling he is to take away the curse from the family. When they are the one to take away the curse from the family. Every family has a redeemer. The one who will end the generational curse of poverty. The one who will end the generational curse of poverty. It is now you. It is now you. In every family. That child will be the one to take the curse from the family. It is the child who will be the first to get married. He will be the first to get married. When that is the child to change and also change their siblings. Now that is the one the altar is looking for. The altar looked for me from my mother's womb. My mother not, it was looking for me. Why? Because I am the child that will break the curse. I was the one to, to marry legally in our home. I was the first one to marry because I'm the one to break it. But there are things I've not yet broken. And I found myself having children before marrying. Because the order is saying all of them must have children outside of their marriage. But when I understood it after okay. getting born again, I said okay. I am a pathfinder. I am a pathfinder. I am a pathfinder. There are things which are so great. But because I'm a pathfinder, I determined and I paid the price. Do you understand? And I paid the price. I paid the price. We were building here. I usually give you this testimony. We are started building here. The church could not go forward. And I say this has never happened. I used to sleep here praying. As I was praying, the Lord told me, You have not honored your father. And I said, God, what do you mean? And he told me, you can't build here before you have built your father's house. And I thought in my wisdom, he's telling me to repair it. What is in that house? But God knew I had gone to Singapore. I told one of the brothers, go to my father's and see the walls which are not okay. And you will repair it that it looks well. As I was in Singapore, I got a message. It, it was my father called me. WhatsApp. My father was calling me using and WhatsApp and said, Where shall we now stay? And I said, What happened? The ones you sent have broken the whole house. <laughs> 
Na mkubwa ngati wae beka. And I called and said, I told you, have you broken the house? I broke the house. And he said, I had you tell me. Go and break the house. Go and break the house. We build another one. And I said I'm finished. The Lord told me I told you to break that house that you may build another. He knows what was there. They have nowhere to stay. We built the house and finished it. The day I put doors, money started coming from different, different places. And we built this building in five months without a debt. Five months. Everything was there. And even that instrument. And there was no death. That is it. I, I said, that, that altar. As long as you still dishonor your father. That, that still altar. I first went back, broke that house, and built another one. Amen. Amen. And he told me another and thing. Yoka. Not only that, Nemucharo. even in the village, where you bury. You were Muzimba. You build that one too. After that, yange. now build mine. Yange. After mine, now I'll build for you. Some of you, you start with the one you stay in. <laughs> Before you build your father's house, even your father in heaven, I finished the one of my father on the earth, and even the one in heaven I finished. It. Now I'll build my palace. <laughs> that is how you do it. But listen, this is what I was telling you. Don't ignore. To, to, those altars. Don't think they don't affect you. They only cannot affect you if your altar is stronger than their sacrifice. They only can, cannot affect you. And there are cases where altars form an alliance. The altar of your family, the altar of the false prophet, the altar of the witch in church. Well, well, even witches in church. There are also witches in church. Who raise altars of witchcraft in church? And they pray on those altars in church. And they, they join the altars of your father's house. And the altars of the village. And the altars of the false prophets. Those who prayed for you. The false prophets. And the, they network the different altars. Then they come up with that Chitambo spirit. And they come together. You know, a chitambo means an alliance of spirits. You see now that, that one of immolarity, that one of poverty, that one is so painful. There is one of, of being a witch, but if it's for poverty, you may give someone money and it comes upon them. And they spend the money as if there is a problem. They, have a problem. they go back to being poor. When that spirit of poverty is upon them, the moment they get some money, they are possessed by something. I had a young man I was working with in ministry. The moment you give him money, he does not sleep until he has spent all the money. At 2 a.m. he wake up to look for something <inaudible> to feel relief <inaudible> when he has no money in his pocket. <inaudible> when you give him a hundred thousand, <inaudible> he will not stay still. <inaudible> he will first buy chapati <inaudible> without eating them he gives them <inaudible> away. Sweet. Buy sweets. <inaudible> When you see him going in and out now, you know he has received money. For you to know that he doesn't have money when he is sitting still. He's a very calm man. 
The moment he gets 20,000, he will not sit until he has spent all the money. And I said, God will provide. Then I later understood that in their home there is a shrine. And I looked at him. I looked at his brothers. And I looked the father. And I said now there is that spirit of God. And he said I'm born again. I am under the grace. And I said grace which will not allow you to buy shoes. I don't want that kind of grace. When, when the evil spirit of poverty when it's on a woman everyone who marries them becomes poor. you marry her when you have money and you lose all of it <laughs> Because the one which destroys it destroys it, it destroys it knows. the one who marries there is the one who becomes family. poor their family everyone who marries there they become poor <laughs> Everyone who marries into that family, you find a, a woman who has caused the death of four men. Everyone who loves her dies. The one who doesn't die, it becomes poor. Choto. It is an altar. Choto. An altar. The girl you've married. Is a child She's a daughter of, of an evil altar. They they conceived her from an evil altar. altar. The ones you conceive from an evil altar. They are from the altar. Baba Baba Muchoto. The Lord helped us these days. Brought DNA. Eh. Yes. For free DNA. I want to start up an NGO for free DNA. The one who wants to do DNA. You come DNA. <laughs> We shall no longer pray for children. Shall dedication we also that we are first bring a DNA certificate to that we know what we are dealing with. Mukiriza, Uganda. Have you accepted? Hey. Yes. Child, we are pass it. We are dedicating a child. Tuwayo, mwana. Na dumara mtu wala mumpapula. We first take them. Tumanye ni zimu chichitruana jo. We understand what spiritual powers we are dealing with. Tuzo tuwana na jaba Uganda. We are dealing Nengo with Uganda when the child is a musoga. It is DNA to tell us what we are dealing with. Hey. Yes. Parliament. It should be through Parliament. But it is a DNA bill 2023. They bring. Every hospital. <laughs> There is a, ma a machine there at the maternity ward. Before they give you the child, they first do the DNA, then you sign the birth certificate. Before you sign the birth certificate, you first go for DNA, you get results, you get results. sign the birth certificate. No signing. Some of the things disturbing us are misplaced bloodlines. We went to the witch doctors and you, that is how we you And you brought the child over, over over The child is there destroying our money. <laughs> No one is saying amen. I mean, brothers, hallelujah. Hey. All the parents on the Camp DNA. Who want free DNA? They come here. They want free DNA. They want free DNA. They come here. They want free DNA. 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 They want free they, they could be a lot of chaos. Nathan, this is DNA proposals. I have started DNA proposals. Nathan, as a deliverance minister, not as a not as a father. Seeing a tata. My, 
Sina pressure mara. Abange bob mukama yabampa. For my children the Lord gave you them. Yes I do not involve myself in No. Nze nyamba balala. For me I help others. Zendi wa moyo. For me I'm spiritual. <laughs> How do I start? <laughs> it seems I've grown old. Well, it doesn't have negative. Why did they return when they are negative? <laughs> I start afresh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me just stay where I am. <laughs> How many support me in that? <laughs> Let us just hold on to that. <laughs> hey! That which you do not know cannot make you see. Now, God, give me the grace. That let me walk by faith. That's what the Bible says. The just shall live by faith. <laughs> let me live by faith. You are my son. You are my daughter. That is enough. Bangamba. I was telling I you, no one is taking her on time. Let me hold on to that. <laughs> I've cancelled the campaign. <laughs> when it came to me, <laughs> I've cancelled the campaign. You understand? Campaign, yo. That campaign, of they have cancelled it. Now forgive me. I will not even buy that machine. <laughs> Should we go for DNA? Yes or no? Yes. Why? Aren't you born again? Have faith. Ask the Lord to tell you. The Bible says the revealed things belong to you. The unrevealed things belong to God. Leave them with God. Everywhere I have a scripture. Praise the Lord. So as we talk about go and deal with the altar. I want to read a chapter from my book delivered from deep darkness. Why am I reading this chapter to you? The altar and the priesthood in the territory. I want to tell you this. Until your altar has achieved Territorial status. It is not effective. It is not effective. It is not effective. If you forget that, tewaze. you did not come. Until your altar achieves territorial status, it is not effective. Has not achieved its purpose. What does it mean? From a personal altar, it must now influence the family. Into the family altar. From a family altar, it begins to influence the community. So it's influencing a village. From a village to the whole territory. My altar is supposed to influence my house. And my house is supposed to influence the people of my bloodline. The people of my bloodline must be influenced by my altar. As their altar have made me suffer, even my altar should be able to deliver them. My prayer altar has a mandate to deliver my father's children and my mother's children. Not only that, 
my altar has a mandate to deliver my siblings and their children. Because now I have taken over the priesthood of my bloodline. You have not understood that. I am taking over the priesthood of my bloodline and my family. Are you accepting that? Are you accepting that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a pastor who is a friend of mine. All the siblings are not born again. But they are believers. They believe that he's their priest. He's the one, only one born again. But every week, his siblings, they send money which doesn't go below five million. Every week. Every week. And, and I said why they say we do no longer be involved in you are our, our priest you are our priest every week they send an offering they even have a law all holiday we took when the holy day comes, all their children they send them to him all the children are sent to him they built a big house bedrooms. nine bedrooms he said this is my altar that siblings are not yet born again but all their children are born again do you know why they are born again Chino. it is this altar the blessing I have he I I took over the priesthood of my family. He fasted, he prayed, they were against him, they hated him, they abused him. Until they discovered their blessing is because of their priest. They started one by one. Until they sat down and said, by the way, when this one started praying for us, we are seeing changes. And they said, and they said we are not born again. We shall remain in our religion. But you are our priest. Actually, brother, one of the brothers talked to me recently. And said, Pastor James, we have our pastor. We are not born again, but our brother is our pastor. I pray that it happens to you. The people of your family to acknowledge you as a priest in the house. But you must take the responsibility. Amen. Amen. Now let me read to you some few things here. If you have this book, if you, uh, if you don't have it, you need to buy it. It will help you understand family issues. If you don't have it, you buy it. I don't give it up. I've been giving it up, but I'm not giving it now anymore. And today we have only four copies, not so. Pastor now four copies only. And each copy is at only 30,000. But we sell it at $20 and above. But today, I'm going to give you at 30, only the four copies. How many want it? One, two, eight. The copy I have only First four copies. You come swimming. You buy the people you look after the priests. Gloria. Was that all will be? Which for Eh? Banang. Was that all will be? Pastor Juliet. Old friend, Funio Copinga Sato. 
Zuedeo. Oh, and I. But I will first carry. Can you read chapter? Let me read that chapter. This chapter is about. I want to pick something. It's about my life before I came to Christ how I was ruling my territory. I was ruling that territory from Katonga down to Kagera. Southern Uganda and Northern Tanzania. Southern Uganda and Northern Tanzania. Now I say the exercise of spiritual authority page 59. Page 59. The exercise of spiritual authority is based on the spiritual principle of that two becomes one. One of the things that is required on the altar is agreement. Amen. Why do I not just come in your district? and start ministry. It doesn't work. I need the people of the land to agree and I agree with them. Then I have spiritual authority to operate there. I don't have authority to operate in Chenjojo until the priests in Chenjojo have accepted me. A principle that is a principle. Until the, the people of the land. So, spiritual authority is because of oneness. Our Lord Jesus Christ repeatedly attributed his work on earth to the Father in him. Even the words he spoke, Jesus claimed were not his but the father's. It is this quality of oneness Jesus offered to his followers. John 15, 4 and 8. Now John 17, 22, 23. And John 14, 15 to 17. Man must become one with spirit to exercise spiritual authority. That oneness means that the spirit will lead the man. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 23. We know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walks to direct his own steps. In the union of man and spirit, the spirit taps into man's divine mandate to exercise dominion over the earth. This is the same principle I used to rule a territory for the kingdom of darkness as a territorial chief. A ruling chief hosts the prince, principality, strong man, that rules the territory for certain in his body. The ruling chief hosts the prince, the principality, the strong man that rules the territory for certain in his body. Now, in the kingdom of God, the Lord tells you, offer your body as a living sacrifice. Okay? Those spirits can move in the air and live in features like trees, hills, houses, animals, 
The princes live only in human bodies because they must access they must have access to a soul. Kakati wa denge mioyo jisobolo kubera mumiti mubanga mubintu ebye nja ulo wabula avalangira basobola kutula umbantu kuwanga baina okubanga waliwo ememe jebako zesa. This enables them to disguise under human traits, character and forms to rule, seduce and control men. Kati chino chiba letera okwe kweka mumbala nengeri engeri jebi kole bamu okwe ranga basikiriza avantu nukuba letera okwe isa mungeri emu. The prince must find a person to host him in his soul. Omulangira alinoku suro muntu oyu gwana tula mumeme ye. Now do you know that in prayer Oma inti mkusaba There are times you are dealing with the host Waba wetisera ngokola kuoyo atuluam And the prince No mulangira Kuchoto On the altar You find in some spiritual transactions and warfare. The person is the host. But is hosting a prince. Now, the ability to separate the priest from the host calls for spiritual discernment and the purity of your spirit. You have not understood it. It calls for your discernment. Which comes because of the purity of your spirit. If your spirit has impurities. You will be manipulated. Deceived. And you are not able to separate the prince from the host. Because the prince may even prophesy. The prince may even prophesy. May even pray. And you may be deceived that what is in this person is the spirit of God. Some men are standing in churches. You call them prophets. You call them men of God. But they are hosting a prince. Not a demon. A prince of darkness. Who can take on a human form? Are you getting me? There are people who are going to be delivered today. I feel God on this point. There are people that have been duped and blinded because of the prince who is in a host. There is a, the other man who, who said we are legion in the Bible was the host. Legion was the prince commanding a network of 5,000 spirits. The prince is legion. Are you getting me? Let me give you, oh my God, our time. Let me share this to understand this. When God was teaching me deliverance, he took me in a school of deliverance. You know what? I was starting ministry. And every day, almost every day, parent, a parent could bring a deformed child. Children, Especially children with autism. I said, why are they keep coming to me? I prayed, I could pray for the children. Cast out the demons. And nothing happens. No, you pray for a child. You anoint them. Even cooking oil. And even water. And you pinch them. And nothing happens. That one goes. The following day, they bring another. And I was wondering why they bring them. You pray for someone. And power is there. You feel power. 
No more. Nothing. Nothing. They don't even see you. And I could discover these children they are not in our world. See that the child is in another world. Could not even make eye contact. No emotional attachment. And I was disappointed. So one day a lady comes. I'm praying for the baby. And I hear the Lord say. Go. In her home. And I hear, what, what I say. Go and stay with the child in the home. And now, because I want to obey, I, I, so I tell the lady, I, know, I feel the Lord is telling me to come in your house and spend time with the child. The mother said, Wow, praise the Lord, when are you coming? Before I thought, I said to me, Ah, thank you, Pastor. So I in the evening I go to this house. And I felt I need to spend a night with this child. That's when I knew what the parents go through with such a child. Hey, that was the, a night in hell. The child would bite you na and would pinch you, na marusu, will spit on you, na kufukira, and will you na on you gana. and Kaba, shout. You know, I was, what's going on here? Nga, nga, mba, I didn't sleep the whole night. Na sebaka. Buke, no, kera, kumacha, I'm so tired. By morning, na linko yenyo. So the mother has, comes and and say, Pastor James, you know what? Mama Jananga, Msuma James, so I have not rested si for the last six months. E Let me go and let's visit a friend. I'll come back in the evening. Nga mwana. Left the child with me. Zige no By 6 p.m. I had not slept. Na I was tired. Ina she called me. Pastor James. Suma James. Um, amata. Bread and milk. Okulia. And things to Bili eat. Fridge. In the fridge. Ya I will return tomorrow. <laughs> na chile and left the child with me for the second night. I prayed. I fasted. Nebucha. Till morning. Sister, they are come out. The sister didn't come back. After three days, now come out. When I say now, Kusatu, she came back. And the Lord told me, "You are not living here until this child is delivered." I became a babysitter. I'm the one to bathe the child. I'm the one to look after the child. I'm the one they bite. She comes and bites you. And just bites you. You've not done anything. <laughs> and I prayed every kind sister of prayer. And the sister was thanking God. Is the <laughs> <laughs> He's saying how I have a good heart. After three days, four days, five days, our week was finished. The second week, I'm there. I'm tired. I'm looking at the child. I bathe the child. Just love the family. The Lord was telling me family. Raise my altar here. Up to 32 days. I had not left that house. For 32 days. I was in hell. In the house. I was a pastor. I've left the church. I've become a babysitter. When you saw Pampa, the, the pampas, and I said, God, this cross is But then the, on the 32nd night, today, the Lord told me it is going to be finished. I was in a room with this child. I started seeing the child becoming bigger. Bigger. And bigger. And bigger. He was she could, the child could not speak. He looked at me and spoke. What do you want? In English. She has, the child has never no gone to school, does not even speak. But I hear what do you want? And I knew. Now the prince. 
Omulangira is being exposed. Aya nikidwa. Na andu nulira what? Looked at me. Na alioka avamu smell. Ne vamu echi unya. Na oh. Echi unya. I threw up. Ne nse sema. The smell that came. Okunya echi vundwe chari chivayi. Ya veno murubuto wechit. From the stomach. Na achi mfujira what? And spat that on me. Ne I threw up. Throwing up. Also, the child was now vomiting. Now everything was dirty. And a part of me went to get, to get Kano. I wanted to slap the child. <laughs> In anger, I was tired. The Holy Spirit said, Now only that. You are before a prince. And the child stood up and spoke, I am Legion. I am a Legion. I knew now that Legion is living. Legion is living now. And I didn't say a word. The Lord told Just me. Just look into the eyes. Just look into the eyes. And I looked in the and eyes. And I could look through the eyes. Into hell. When I would look into the eyes. I would see hell. In the eyes. I don't know how. And I knew if I remove my eyes. From this child. Is going to strangle me. The moment I turn my eyes. When she gets hold of my neck. To strangle me. He had already. <laughs> so I looked in the eyes. I looked in the eyes. And I remember that scripture. In the eyes of Christ. You in the eyes of Christ. And I began maintaining on that. The thing just left. After leaving. It was as if the child had resurrected. And started crying. The real tears. In the past, the child would cry in a strange way. From nowhere, the child would now shout and keep quiet. <laughs> they would not cry like a child. The quiet and cries at once, then keeps quiet. Now, this time, started crying like a child. And I held it na him. Kaba. And he cried. Na kaba. And cried. Na kaba. And cried. Mama we na the mother came in. For the first time. The child looked like the na mother. And knew her mother. Ma- 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 opened his arms. Mama we na and the mother and you could carried feel him. The connection. Go ulida, ne ba- ne ne ah, and I, back. I knew that. The soul has come from what the was possessed. What possessed this child? A, chari, chatula, a prince. Yali, the child was born in normal. At two years, Kumiake, something came and took over. Wali wo e and the child became a host. Now, it took me 32 days for my spirit to be pure enough my purity my to dislodge the prince. Prince. The purity of your spirit is what dislodge. The 32 days God was dealing with all the filthiness, the infirmities, the impurities, the pride in me. God does not need 32 days. He does not more than 30 days to be pure to dislodge the prince. Have you understood that? There are people who are controlling that city, that town, that family, family. the host. It's an auntie, but when she's a host, but inside there is a prince. 
to separate them you need purity your spirit must be pure that can destroy the prince if you if you attempt and you've not separated the prince and the host the prince may kill the host and the Lord doesn't want that God wants to save that soul because if the host dies possessed with the prince now it becomes a, a very difficult when the host in dies with the prince our nejifuka is very bad because now the human spirit Kachiba and the prince are now yoked in the spirit and they torment and wipe away the whole family that is what they say that something destroyed all of them praise the lord come on praise the lord come on praise the lord are we, are we here okay so i said you what your purity Every time Jesus made a statement saying, The prince of this world is coming. But he has nothing to do with me. The prince of this world. The prince of this world is coming. He has no nothing to he didn't say fire, fire, fire. He said he didn't say fire, 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 fire. He didn't approve. He, he, he did not abuse. He, he did not remind me. me. He said he's he coming, but he cannot touch me. There's nothing in me. There's, There's no alliance with him. There is no alliance the with him. The prince of this world is coming, but he has nothing to do with me. This is not a demon, a prince. Oh no, see demon, Mulangira. Mchauli. Mulangira wa chizikiza. The prince of darkness. Who rules a a, a territory. Ngafuga etwa. All are people. Owe abantu. Who have covenanted themselves to him. Abe kose ndagano na yeye. Legally, they have said you are our leader. Ngamu mateka ba gamba guatu kulemba. Now to dislodge a prince. Katika kwenye ngo sengu lo mulangira. You must be pure. Oli no kubanga oli mulongo fu. You may find the man in the city. See false prophet only. He's not just a false prophet. He's, he's hosting a prince. He's hosting a prince. The, the prince of Chenjojo. The, the prince of Sezibwa. A prince not an evil spirit. And the evil is mine even the people. Amen. I mean, as the priests you purify you go through purity cleanse until your purity your purity judges the prince until your purity judges the prince have you understood that amen amen we shall our time is first spent and we have a lot of things to do because we have a short day. We will break early because people are traveling. But I know people will get tired. Let's have a break of 10 minutes to jam last session then we come for the last session of last session being anointed and commissioned. Anointed and commissioned. Just, let's make it just 15 minutes please. To Tukomeo, tutambuleko wabwe, tukomeo kumaguru. Waliwa na amazi. Na amazi, unyoyo kumazi, waliga abwe. You can take some water behind. Then, tuwete kere, being anointed and going. We prepare ourselves. And praying. Okusaba, okufikibwa kama futano kutu. God bless you. Mukama haba wenye mkisa.